Um, good morning, everybody, and thank you for uh, attending today's um, webinar. And my apologies, my schedule time was for later on to close the session. And unfortunately, I have had to, uh, I've been asked to attend a meeting, so I can't um, close out, but my colleague Dave Hughes will do that. So I just want to wish you all um, the best for the day to get the, the most out of today, because I think this is a very um, important time in nursing midwifery management particularly. We have the expert groups sitting at the moment. We also have um, the next um, round of public service pay talks about to commence. We have a pandemic and we have the role of nursing and midwifery becoming central to the provision of public health right now in our country. We as a trade union are involved in all of these strands and we are representing the voice that uh, has been I think, rehearsed over many decades, which is that nursing and midwifery making up a third of all of the workforce in the health service has a lot of responsibility, but not enough authority. And that is the central issue that remains with us and continues to be with us. And our aim is to ensure that that's corrected. And we take that very seriously. We take the responsibility of, of our representation very seriously. And we also have made representations in respect of, for example, NEFET and the requirement to have a nurse on NEFET. And we have your chief nurse is going to be addressing you later. And we believe strongly that the chief nurse of Ireland should sit on NEFET and considering public health issues, considering the role that our professions have in delivering that care, that that is an ask that should not have needed to be made by a trade union. Likewise, at HSE level, at the senior clinical um, committee levels, where all of the decisions in respect of how we deal with the pandemic are being made, we believe strongly that a nurse's voices must be heard, must have a central role and must be part of it. We know that all of you were central to the service change, reconfiguration, and also um, the very real issues in the private sector when they arose. So all of this has, in our view, demonstrated that everybody in the system is very happy to provide us with responsibility, but not necessarily with authority. And that remains um, an issue that we will continue to speak about and to, because we believe we have many within our ranks who are well able to do it. It is just a matter of ensuring that nursing and midwifery is given that pedestal and that absolute stance, which is you have authority which has to have more than risk and responsibility for risk. Your authority must span budget and must span how our professions develop, how our professions are fit for the future and the modern future of healthcare delivery. And we have to be right there when those decisions are being made, not just being told what decisions have been made and then be expected to change and deliver the change. So I think from my point of view, that's our focus. And um, I think we understand the difficulties that are, that are with all of our members who are directors, assistant directors and CNMs right through the service at the moment, as well as obviously the staff nurse grades. And the important piece is that we move forward as one with a view to improving the role and function of nursing and midwifery in the new healthcare system, whatever it becomes, and that we are a central part to it. And I hope that today gives you a, a very good uh, basis for um, understanding the breadth of our professions, where we can go, where we must go, and how we must do that as a united um, across the nursing and midwifery regulators, the trade unions, the Department of Health and HSE. And that's, uh, I think, um, what I would hope today brings and starts to uh, copper fasten amongst both professions. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy the day and um, keep up the good work. Gurumila Mahadev.